Hi friends, it's Miss Amy with West Virginia University Extension Service Family Nutrition Program. Today, we're gonna talk all about cabbage. I have some cabbages here with me, but first, where do you think cabbage fits on my plate? That's right, it fits into our vegetable category. Cabbage provides our bodies with fiber. Also, it provides us with vitamin C. Fiber is important to keep us going to the bathroom regularly, and vitamin C is important to keep our immune systems healthy. So let's take a look at a cabbage. We have three kinds of cabbage here. We have our traditional cabbage, we have a red cabbage, and then also bok choy, which is a Chinese cabbage. Cabbage feels kind of waxy on the outside and it's full of individual leaves. As you continue to open your cabbage, the leaves will get smaller and smaller. Let's take a look inside this cabbage. Wow, you can see each individual leaf starting to get larger and larger. Cabbage feels moist on the inside, but not overly wet. So where do cabbage come from? We know we can find cabbage at our farmer's market in the summer and fall, and we can also find it at our grocery store, but how do cabbage grow? Let's go visit a farm to see how cabbage grow. So how does cabbage grow? Cabbage grows in gardens and on farms, and it's a plant that has a lot of large leaves and develops a small head in the center. A small head is really a lot of leaves tucked tightly together. There are two main types of cabbages that we grow in West Virginia. There's early season cabbages and late cabbages. Early season cabbages start to be harvested in June, while late season cabbages normally require a little more time and are good for storage. When we plant cabbages, we have to be mindful that cabbages have a shallow root system with many feeder roots close to the surface. It's best to make sure that you mulch your cabbages in or provide some type of protection so that the soil cannot dry out. Cabbages like to be fed, which means they need a lot of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium during the year to help them grow the best. When we harvest cabbages, we harvest what's called the head in the middle of the cabbage, and that's what we're used to seeing in the store. When you're choosing cabbages at the farmer's market, farm stand or your local grocery store, you want to choose firm heads with shiny, loose outer leaves. Cabbage can be refrigerated for up to one week. You'll remove the outer leaves and run it under cool water. Cut the cabbage into quarters and then cut the hard white core out of each piece. Cabbage can be eaten raw, stir-fried, or roasted. 